Hey guys, All in Crypto here and welcome back ladies and gentlemen for another YouTube video. I hope you've all had a magnificent Monday so far. Today we're going to be diving into Cardano and there is a perfect storm brewing ladies and gentlemen and we're going to be diving into that in this video. The next three month time period is going to be pretty epic for Cardano. We've got a number of dApps that are very close to launching next month, the following month. And then that, of course, takes us in to the June hard fork, which is what you have many dApps actually waiting for in order to deploy. So we are going to be talking about that, lots of what's going on in regards to the Cardano ecosystem. We're also going to be looking at price again because we showed you in yesterday's video, you know, there is going to be a bottom for Cardano and we are going to go on and make new all time highs, in my opinion. It's really a matter of when, not if at this point. Um, and it's just a case of being able to be in it to win it until then. You know, crypto as a space is tiny. I was listening to a uh, podcast earlier in uh, specifically about DeFi. And if you look at DeFi users globally, it's virtually non-existent. Guys, you are early in a technology that is really going to change the world and in actual fact is going to become common practice within the world. And it's something you should be excited about. Ignore the pessimism, ignore the noise. Just focus on the big term picture here. And that is the direction that crypto is going in. And Cardano as a blockchain, as a cryptocurrency involved in that revolution is positioned to do quite well. Um, and that's why we've put so much time and effort into it. So we are going to be talking about everything. I'm going to be referring what we'll do before we dive into the price. I'll also be reminding you guys of this. This shows whale addresses. Now we did say round about the mark where we're currently at, whales really started to actually accumulate again. You can see on-chain data that proves that. People saying that it was um, untrue or inaccurate, you can verify it yourself. You don't need to take my word for it. Go and look at the wallet addresses. In this particular instant, it's wallet addresses with 1 to 10 million ADA, um, and you'll be able to reference that for yourself. You'll be able to verify that for yourself. Let's, so we will dive into the price and everything associated with it. Let's start with a little bit of what's taking place on top of the Cardano ecosystem. Shouts out to Ada Whale for this tweet. I'm sure pretty much all of you will know who he is. Certainly those of you that use Twitter. Um, he's probably the main um, Cardano account on Twitter. Uh, and he's here. He's talking about some of what we've got coming in the next couple of months in regards to the DAP ecosystem that is currently being built on top of Cardano. Remember, our total value is growing daily. This is before we have the likes of stable coins or anything else. We're going to be looking at a tweet from Liquid Labs as well, talking about when they're going on Testnet, which will be next month. Very excited for this individual DAP, along with a number of others like AA to Finance. Um, you've also got um, Ardano, which I'm a huge fan of. I think they're essentially going to be the maker DAO of Cardano. But let's go over this tweet to kick things off, ladies and gentlemen. Launching, um, you've got the Wing Rider Dex, which is just behind the door. I think they're already on Testnet, I believe. Um, you've got Milkameda, which is a layer two sidechain on top of Cardano. We've spoken about how they will essentially bring Cardano to the EVM world, the Ethereum world. Lots of liquidity over there. They've got DEXs and a number of other things launching on top of them. You've got AA to finance in DAP staking within weeks. Um, you've got the Ergo DEX, which is essentially launching. Testnet is launching on April. And then of course, you'll get mainnet shortly after that. That's typically how it works once they've sort of sorted out audits and everything else. Cardano DEX or Cardex, um is launching on testnet on the 12th of april which is only next month guys and then going on mainnet in may um, you've got singularity net um, which is a ethereum converter um, essentially launching next month you've got dejed in april um, and then you've also got paribus which we've spoken about in quite a bit of detail you guys know that i hold pretty much every single token on here that I can get my hands on. And also you've got Genesis Yield, which is another yield farming protocol that also has a DEX attached to it. That's just coming in the next couple of months, um, Q2. Um, on top of that, and they didn't actually mention Liquid Labs here or AdaWell didn't mention them. Somebody had obviously pulled this up in the comment section, of course, um, and he said that he couldn't find anything. And then of course, you have Liquid Labs coming in like a knight in shining armor here saying public testnet will be live next month. So next month for their public testnet. Core devs are finishing the lending action um, for the mint and burn plus supply uh, batch scripts. Um, 
and now finishing the borrowing action, borrowing slash repay and demand batch scripts, 5X yield streams directly in the protocol for ADA lenders. This is going to be huge and revolutionize the game and actually put a lot of attention onto um, Cardano and its ecosystem, which we're already seeing with the likes of MinSwap as people are really taking advantage of some of those early yield farming um, opportunities, which we've shown you guys how to do. I still need to make a Sunday swap tutorial and a MinSwap tutorial. Apologies, guys. I've just been super busy. So much on we're working on, or I'm... I don't really want to say what I'm working on, but I'm working on something that I think is going to benefit the Cardano community greatly and actually bolster the Cardano ecosystem that you guys can take part in. Um, but we'll we'll keep that behind closed doors for now. So there's so much taking place. This is all on the run up to the Vasil hard fork, which essentially is going to see. Um, it has a lot to do with the Plutus scripts and the Plutus backend, uh, and it's going to mean that DApps can sort of benefit from pipelining and a number of other things that is on the way and we have speculated that previous hard forks have typically always seen a run up on the way to them we know that whales are certainly anticipating that and they've actually accumulated significantly if you look at where they dumped over here you can see that they're significantly accumulating again um over here i'll just move my face very quickly out of the way so you guys can see that if you couldn't already so it's an ex super super exciting time for cardano on top of all of that, you have a reset on the weekly for your MACD. If you look, every time we've had one of these crosses, a bullish cross is what is referred to, you've seen continuation to the upside. If you look at your RSI, you're at a ver or stock RSI, sorry, you're at a very typically low level. Uh, and also your RSI is, is painting a similar picture. So we're setting up for the perfect storm, ladies and gentlemen. You guys know that I've been dollar cost averaging um into my cardano bags and i'm going to continue to do so because i think we have a long bright horizon we are going to start covering a number of other blockchains i don't just dollar cost average into ada i have around about 10 that i consistently dollar cost average into blockchains um and then of course i have a little bit of powder on the side for sort of aping into various projects like the ones on top of the cardano ecosystem ardana being one that i'm a huge fan of of course liquid um and a number of others out there. So the overall market, remember, all of this is largely dependent of the over, on the overall cryptocurrency market. I feel like after the FOMC, which is when the Fed essentially came out and said that they were only going to up interest rates by 25%, take a measured approach to things and really see how things went, given the uncertainty of everything. Markets kind of, you know, there was a little bit of a sigh of relief um, in the sense that, you know, we're definitely more than priced in a 25 basis point um rate hike so markets are kind of like few you know but we still are in a very uncertain time period and you have to acknowledge this going forward um, and make a strategy according uh, to everything that's taking place which is what we try and keep you guys alert to on these videos one thing for me though that keeps me extremely bullish and it's why i can be bullish even in the face of pessimism and adversary is because i understand where this space is going it should be concreted um into your mind at this point that crypto is a technological revolution similarly to the telephone um to the uh, phone industry similar to the internet similar to the pc revolution you know and any revolution prior to it though all those prior revolutions have a huge impact on our life crypto is going to be no different into the future and you're on the cusp of that ladies and gentlemen we see a lot of countries around the world all moving to regulate and adopt it um, i was listening to a podcast on algorand earlier you know, how many of you guys know that Algorand and um, Algorand are essentially helping to build infrastructure within El Salvador and a number of other places? Uh, and, and one thing that I'm a big fan of, I'm a, I'm a fan of your kind of old school layer ones. Does that make sense? So your Polkadots, your Algorands, your Cardanos, and also Ethereum. Um, you know, I was in Ethereum a lot longer than I was or have been in Ethereum for a lot longer than I have been in Cardano. I just happen to think that Cardano have took a, you know, there's more ROI potential, I think, with Cardano, and certainly given how early they are and the community behind it and everything, you know, I like what Ada's doing. Um, but that's not to take, you know, what Vitalik did was genius. Um, and, and if you hate on that, you really haven't understood how Cardano has came to be. Because without Vitalik, none of that would be here, by the way, guys. He pioneered, built from nothing, something. And that's what a lot of your blockchains here are trying to mimic. Ethereum 
or Cardano came out of Ethereum and Charles having a disagreement with them and then going on and, and founding it from Japan and so on and so forth. So it's a very interesting journey that we're on, but I'm a big fan of your layer ones, your old school layer ones like Polkadot, Algorand and ADA. They all seem to be launching launching smart contracts at the same sort of time where you've got things like Terra, not to take anything away from Terra and Solana and Avalanche that have almost rushed to market um, and they have had problems in, in associated with them. And, and, and Cardano has never had any downtime Neither has Algorand. In fact, you don't even need to fork the Algorand blockchain. But we'll be talking a lot about that into the future. So this was really just a short and sweet video to keep everybody's minds on what is around the corner. Thank you, Adewell, for this tweet. Um, you know, he, he's spot on. This is, we are on the cusp of something magnificent um, for Cardano. And it's been a long time coming, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I feel like ADA holders, including myself, I've had to deal with a lot of FUD being thrown our way. And you can see almost why, because of course we we didn't have smart contracts. You know, we, we've done things at a later date. We took a tortoise approach to um, the race. Uh, and we all know the story of the hare and the tortoise and who ends up winning um, in the end. So it, it, it's, it's glorious what's taking place. We keep growing in terms of total value locked. Stable coins are going to be huge. Again, a reminder with Liquid Labs, they actually have Liquid X, which is, I believe, a stable coin. Um, which is going to really start to heat things up uh, and, and we're going to start getting this show on the road along with Ardano, Dejad, um, you've got a number of other things, uh, a number of other stablecoin protocols within here. You've got your borrowing and lending, which I'm, I always think that borrowing and lending protocols do extremely well along with DEXs within an ecosystem. Um, and then you've got DeFi um, opportunities like VYFi, shouts out to them and a number of others. So that is really all I have for you in this video, ladies and gentlemen. It was really just a short and sweet one. You know, there's a perfect storm brewing for Cardano. Uh, and, you know, I am plan on being on that train when it takes off. Uh, and I don't think it's going to be too long before things do indeed take off. But remember, still a lot of uncertainty on a macroeconomic scale, on a geopolitical scale, and on a monetary policy scale. And you need to factor this into the tiny little cryptocurrency market that is still um, being birthed and still growing. And of course, you know, when you're kind of big macro moves, it, 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 it's um, wise to think that crypto will will act accordingly. Uh, and that's just something not to take your eyes off. And certainly we've seen that over the past um, couple of months now with everything taking place. That is all I have for you in this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you've enjoyed this content, a like is always appreciated. So as a comment, remember, we do have the stake pool. All in is the ticker. For those of you looking to stake your Cardano, feel free to um, stake with myself. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I will catch you all in the next YouTube video.